hello guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to show you the easiest method to uh, update windows 8.1 to windows 10 so this is the easiest method and everyone can do this and this is called uh, windows uh, semi uh, semi offline update so it will download through your computer and it will push the uh, update to your phone and then you have the first build of uh, Windows 10 will push to your phone then you have to change your phone model number and other things then you will get five more update for the latest build so for example I have done this on my Lumia 625 to try it's working or not so this is running on now Windows 10 latest build so there is no more build after this build and it's um, as I said in my previous videos the experience of Windows 10 in 512 MB of RAM it's not that good but uh, it's working uh, as like and it's working just fine right now and there is lag everywhere you will find and this is the latest version as you can see so i will do the same thing on my lumia 540 and i will show you how you can do this so first of all um what you have to do is you have to reset your phone and if you have any data on your phone just back up it because uh, reset it mandatory you have to reset your phone first after resetting your phone you just keep your phone aside and uh, as for now I have already done it so I'm not uh, not going to do that so if you because as you know Windows phone take a long time to do the reset process so I'm not going to do that anymore and now let's uh, jump into the tutorial um, so as you can see here I have three files and this is a zip file when you um the, the link of this zip, zip file you will get in my description below when you um unzip this so if i open this file you will get this three file and you have to unzip this three files so we need these three files so when you unzip these three files you will get these three files and then you have to open the file called uh stcsw so you will get these files then you have to connect your phone to your PC so you you must have internet in your PC otherwise it will not work because it will download from the uh, download the update and it will push to your com uh, phone it's like using uh, Windows Advisor as we have as we used in 2015 or 14 to get Windows 10 update on our phone so it's same like that so after connecting your phone just runs ENCMD just run it after that it will detect your phone now as it said uh, press e, uh, any key to proceed just press any key from your keyboard and there will be a window pop up there they will show your phone then when they show your phone you just click the phone and remove it remove device otherwise it will not work first of all uh, before removing the phone just disconnect removing the device from the computer just disconnect your phone and remove it okay then connect it back in this in this also necessary so you have to do this necessary step so after doing this just click and press any key again and they will say you have connected it for phone properly or not they will ask you and again you have to press any key then you have to write yes if it detect your phone you will see your phone number model number as you can see here for me is uh, lumia 540 dual sim and microsoft windows phone so then now you have to write yes so this uh, will take time because it will download the whole firmware for your phone and it will push the firmware then you then you can disconnect your phone actually so there will be some error fail or something so don't worry about that it, it doesn't matter it will do it in its thing so you have to uh, wait few minutes to download whole package as you can see for me the package is already downloaded because as i said it's i have pushed the download to my phone previously so it, it will not take much time but in the case of you it, it may take a long time to download the firmware and push it to your phone so for me it's already downloaded so it's just pushing the firmware right now so if you you should have good internet connection otherwise this 
can take a long time and as you can see right now it's that the package is already downloaded so it didn't download the package it just run the download and now the the transferring the file means the the pushing the file to my iphone so if i go to my phone right now like if i can show if i go and check the update there will be update so there will be an update 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 so if i go to phone update so i think there will be update now and for this they are showing that check for update it doesn't matter that you will push the update now the update uh, is going on it's like nearly to finish as you can see the phone is last checked 17 hours ago the, the file transferring is completed now we will see something on our phone update so keep patient and if you uh, make any mistake you can re redo this thing so if you have windows recovery tool you can do that so as you can see here the preparing to install 0% so it will install the file first it will prepare then it will you have to restart your phone and uh, to install it this is the first build of windows 10 so after that uh, you have to change your model number to get the latest build of it so to get on my this phone the latest version uh, i had to do um, change the name then i did hard reset so it's changed the name but i i wrote 950xl to get the latest version of it which is which was released in 2020 so there is no more build any of build for windows 10 so as for now this phone is working but it's quite laggy and sometimes it just freeze because of the ram but i don't think it will be a problem with one gig or two gig model so it's going on now uh, let's just unplug your phone it's pushing your pushing the update right now so you can just unplug the phone and keep keep the let the phone do its thing so it's now preparing to install 26 percent so let's see how long it takes one eternity later so the phone has done the preparation of update now it's restarting so it took me around uh, i think 10 minutes to uh, finish the preparation of update and it's that now it's um just going to install the update so after installation of update it will uh, reboot the phone and you will be in the first build of windows 10 then we have to do something else like changing the model number to get the update so i will show you that too so as you can see it's just rebooted and it will do the update process right now the the wheels as we know so it will let's see but uh, this installation process will take long time like 30 minutes or maybe probably 20 minutes 10 minutes it's depend on the device so it's now doing the installation process so i will see you after finishing the installation process 2000 years later so hey guys uh, after 30 minutes we have in the first we are in the first build of windows 10 so let's check it so if i go here about and as you can see it's running uh, on windows 10 and more information information as you can see it's running on 107 so now to get further update we have to in install interrupt tool to our phone so for that you have to connect your phone to the same network as your pc then go to your setting and go to your update and security then for developer option now unlock the developer mode and unlock the device portal and close authentication option now you will get this ip address here so open your browser and write the ip address there so for me 192.168.10 so for the ip address it will be different according to your wi-fi network so check your one and do uh, put your one my one will not work for you so after that just press enter and it will open a page so 192.168.10.25 so okay press enter 
and it's open a page as you can see so let's go to the apps section and now we have to install the files so now choose file first of all go here desktop and you will get dependencies so we have to install all four of these four of these so i have all on install all four of these so we have to install all one by one let's choose one and open and go so it will install so for that you have to go to you have to do four of them now after finishing four of them go to this pc again and your file where you are located interrupt tools interrupt tools so here choose all the apps to show the files because app apx bundle apps so as you can see it shows all of them now you choose the interrupt tool better either you can choose setting a version or your uh, normal version which is app version so i have installed setting version here so when you click open and go it will install it then you can close your browser so if you install the interpol tool setting version so you have to uh, uh, reboot your phone uh, and if you don't if you have installed uh, app version you no need to do that so after that just close the browser and check check your interrupt tools so to get the setting version of it you you will find it extra if you go to extra you will get that interrupt tool as you can see i have interrupt tool here and for app version you will find it here so for me i'm going to do that from a setting so go to interrupt tool open it interrupt tools and as you can see it's opened it and for changing the model number so you have to remember that for single sim we have to put something else for dual sim we have to put something else so i will put the single sim variant and dual sim variant in the comment section below so in the description below you will find there so as for now my phone is a uh, dual sim phone so i will put dual sim one so first of all go to the registry browser open it go to hk local machine system now you go platform platform you will get device target info so here we have to change three thing three things so first of all phone hardware revision okay we cannot do that so yes phone hardware variant sorry so here we have to change the variant rm to our desired one so for me i am using the dual sim version so i am changing it to rm so here i'm i have written here for for my convenience so hopefully you can see that so i am for you you one you will find it there so i will put it there so for me i am using for rm 950 xl dual sim so dual sim rm is 111 so 1116 as you can see rm 1116 triple 16 then done just write it after writing it you go to phone model name so it is says lumia 9540 dual sim so you will go do that is 950 dual sim as you can see 950 xl dual sim so please note that you have to write in this thing correctly otherwise it will not work dual sim so now 950 dual sim write it please and write it's written there now we have to do we have done uh, phone hardware variant and phone uh, model name now we have to change its phone manufacturer model number when you go that you will get this dash to you just close cut this and put this thing so 1116 then dash so as you can see dash 139 then 39 for me so if you are single sim uh, follow this uh, 14052 so it depend on you which one you are using then write it down so that's all now we have already written our model number and things as you can see it's already written now we can close here now if we go setting and about we will see that our phone model number is 950 xl dual sim 1 gb 10 and everything is there So now you can check your update. So if I go update, phone update, and now it will get update. So as you can see, uh, it got one zero double six update. So can we have to press download, and it will download. 
so in this way it will get i think five updates and after that after installing five updates you do a hard reset to your phone and it will change the model number and everything then because after that you no need your model number anymore and you will get five more updates and it will update your phone to a latest version of it and you can install you can run your windows 10 on your phone so that's for today that's it for today thank you very much for watching hopefully this video is simple and you have understand everything well thank you very much for watching see you next time